Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Mercedes GLE 580 4 SUV, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE is a mid-sized luxury SUV. Mercedes redesigned it last year and ever since, it's maintained a top spot in the rankings because of its high levels of luxury, refinement, and technology. The 2021 Mercedes GLE continues to offer optional third row seating, exceptional luxury appointments, and Mercedes Advance MBUX infotainment system. It's a great pick for a luxury SUV, though you might also want to check out the Audi Q7, BMW X5, and Volvo XC90 as part of your SUV search. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE class is a mid-size luxury SUV with three primary trim levels, GLE 350, GLE 450, and GLE 580. All trim levels come standard with all-wheel drive, with the exception of the GLE, which comes in your choice of rear or all-wheel drive. All GLE models come standard with five passenger seating, but can be optioned with three rows to seat seven people. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE 584 Matic SUV. Real quick, before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links down in the description below. Obviously, this high-level luxury uh, mid-size SUV competes with other SUVs. I mentioned a few of them, and I've done build and price reviews of many of them, such as the 2021 BMW X5. I did it in the sporty M50i trim. I like fast cars. I like the sporty ones, whether they're sedans or SUVs. I also did the 2021 Audi Q7 in the prestige trim level. I haven't done the 2021 Volvo XC90 as of yet. It's on the list, but I did do the 2020 XC90 in the T6R design, and that's a very nice SUV. I particularly like the Volvo XC90. Also, if you're looking for a, a three-row SUV, I just recently did the 2021 BMW X7, and I also did that in the very sporty M50i trim. So, after you watch this video, make sure you check out a few of those other videos as well. Okay, before we jump into our build, let's take a closer look at these individual configurations, check out the features, check out the colors, then we'll do the build. So yeah, we're looking here at the base model GLE 350. Uh, this is the two-wheel drive version, which starts at 54,750. Here you can see the GLE 350 in the formatic variant. And it has a starting price of 57250 Either way, you get a turbocharged four-cylinder engine. That engine makes 255 horsepower. You get standard LED headlights, 19-inch wheels, power-adjustable heated front seats, keyless entry and push-button start. You get a power liftgate, sunroof. You get the simulated leather upholstery, which Mercedes calls MB Tech. You get the 12.3-inch infotainment touchscreen. You get the 12.3-inch digital instrument panel. You get integrated navigation system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, automatic emergency braking, and a blind spot monitor. So now when you move up to the 450 now, you're automatically at all-wheel drive. Now it's automatically a 4 but now you get the bump up. You get this inline six-cylinder turbocharged engine with EQ Boost, and that engine makes 362 horsepower. Additionally, with the GLE 450, you get the wireless charging, and you get the multicolor ambient interior light. Oh, and the GLE 450 formatic SUV starts at $62,500. Oh, real quick, also on my website, BillPriceOption.com, I actually did an article on the Mercedes-Benz EQ Boost back in 2019. So if you want to know more about what the electrification of Mercedes-Benz engines is all about, I'm going to put a link down to this article in the description below. At the top tier for the core model, for the core GLE models, you've got the 580 formatic. It gets a 4 liter V8 engine with EQ boost. It has a starting MSRP of $78,900. The V8 engine is good for 483 horsepower. In addition to all the features of the GLE and all the features of the uh, of the GLE 350 and all the features of the 450, the 580 also comes with adaptive air suspension, 20-inch wheels, and as you can see here, it's got the AMG line styling package. Now, you may or may not have known this, but the GLE also comes in two 
AMG variants. What we're looking at here is the AMG GLE 53 4Matic uh, Plus SUV. It has a starting price of $72,350. Now, obviously, this one's all about performance. It has a six-cylinder engine, but instead of it making 362 horsepower, it makes 429 horsepower. It comes with active LED headlights. You get the 20-inch AMG wheels. You get upgraded brakes. And then you got the sporty AMG exterior and interior trim. And your most expensive, your fastest, most luxurious uh, GLE is the AMG GLE 63S 4Matic Plus SUV. Now, this one has a V8 engine with EQ boost. And unlike the 483 horsepower of the 580, this one makes 603 horsepower, and it has a starting price of 113950 In addition to everything that I've mentioned and all the models, it's going to come with all that. You also get now 21-inch wheels. You get electronic limited slip differential, and you get more supportive seats with AMG badging. Okay, now that we went over all the different trim levels and configurations, got their features and know their prices, let's go over the exterior color. So this exterior color here is black. We've got polar white, obsidian black metallic, which is looks pretty good. It looks like it's got a it's a lighter black. It looks like it's got a little more gray in it. We've got an iridium silver metallic, Mojave silver. I like that. We've got lunar blue. Blues are growing on me. We also have the brilliant blue. I don't really like the brilliant blue. I do like this lunar blue, though. Uh, we have the emerald green, which actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, the selenite gray, metallic, and then we have two Dizinho colors, cardinal red and diamond white. Let's check out the gallery images, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just run through the gallery images really, really fast. Right? Look at the, the LED lights. These are your daytime running lights. Those look very cool. Here's a nice side shot of the GLE. Not sure what variant that is. Can't quite see that, but it looks good. Love the wheels. Love those wheels. Nice shot there. Got to be a... Well, I guess I can click more info. Yeah, GLE 350 with the AMG line. It's actually quite nice. So even if you get the base model, you can get it to still look pretty good. All right, now we got some interior photos here. That's a beautiful shot of the interior. Here you can see the 12.3-inch MBUX infotainment system and your 12.3-inch instrument cluster. Just absolutely amazing. You can see the ambient lighting there. Comes surely in tons of different colors. They even have ambient lighting around these grab handles on the side, which are kind of cool. I don't know if I like this grab handle here. Is that going to be in the way when you go to reach for your shifter or things like that? At any rate, you can get over it. Uh, here's some nice shots of the interior. Here's your, here's your back seats. Here's your third row, your optional third row. It's all folded down. It's really not so flat. That second row doesn't float, fold that flat, but it's not too bad. Here's a beautiful shot. That is a decent shot of the interior. Do not like, I don't like that color combination at all. At all. Beautiful shot of the instrument cluster. All digital display. Here's a nice shot of the back seats. This one's got, what, the optional back seat package. Because, look, you can adjust the seats right there. Uh, power seats. Uh, there we go. Beautiful SUV. That's a beautiful shot right there. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so yes, it's true that uh, we went through all the configurations and I told you all their standard features. But now let's just take a, a deeper dive and get a closer look at all the features. And we'll start with the design features of the GLE. It's the roomiest GLE yet, they say. Uh, it's more agile and aerodynamic. It is very good looking, I think. Uh, it has uh, available LED headlights. It's got the bold, elegant cabin. And they say it's got... First in-class tech, and I'm sure it does with the MBUX interface. So you can get a couple of appearance packages, some sport appearance packages. Here we have the AMG line exterior package with the 20-inch AMG wheels, right? Now that's pretty cool. Now there are a standard and available uh, range of wheels from 19 to 22-inch wheels. So... If you know me, you know I'm going to want to go with a bigger set of wheels than, than these 20-inch wheels. Like, I do like this night package. Remember the GLE in the uh, in the gallery we liked that I stopped and took a look at? It was a GLE 350. I must have had the night package because it had these same wheels on here with the 21-inch AMG multi-spoke wheels. I, I particularly like those wheels. 
Moving on, let's find out about some other design features of the 2021 GLE Luxury SUV, such as up here, they talk about function in its finest form. They're talking about they have attention to aerodynamic details. There are subtle spoilers ahead of each tire, around the rear window, and built into the tail lamps to reduce noise and fuel consumption without spoiling the good looks. Additionally, inside the cabin, you have standard 64 color LED ambient lighting, which is very, very cool. When we were looking at the gallery, I said there was probably many different uh, shades and colors that you can choose from, and that's certainly true. There is no denying that Mercedes-Benz has some of the most beautiful interiors in all of automotive, uh, out of all the cars that are available. It doesn't matter. Rolls Royce, Bentley, it doesn't really matter. Mercedes makes one incredibly beautiful interior. So we know that there's a third row seating option in the GLE to turn it into a seven seater. Uh, the package includes six way power adjustment of the spacious second row for comfort plus power folding of its outer seat backs so you can get into the third row easier. So that makes sense. I would assume this is the uh, the interior shot of one of the AMG variants I mentioned earlier, either the AMG 53 or maybe the 63. Either way, it's a gorgeous interior. It's got the black and silver, and I think that looks incredible. So the GLE has artificial intelligence because the MBUX interface can turn your words into your GLE's actions. So you could say, hey, Mercedes, it's cold, or I need a coffee, and the MBUX can either warm up the interior, or it can find a place, a location for you to get coffee uh, via the navigation. So it, they say they can even learn your habits and new phrases, which I think is super cool and maybe a little creepy. So yeah, let's talk about this 12.3-inch touchscreen. Yeah, pinch the touchscreen, swipe on the wheel, or hand write on the console. Very cool. So this is your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. That's all standard. This is your navigation. This is your infotainment. This is all of that good stuff. They've got one more slide here where they're showing. Here's your maps. Look at those beautiful maps. That is amazing. They say there is standard seat heating plus available ventilation and massage. There's also that ionizer purifier, which sprays a nice fragrance, a very uh, fine mist fragrance into the air of into the cabin the GLE must have some autonomous technology because right here they're talking about that the GLE can spot a traffic jam it can slow down and it can help you negotiate through it it could even change lanes and all you would have to do is tap on the turn signal so yeah let's find out about some of this uh some of these safety tech features and just some of the innovation because Mercedes is always at the forefront I guess we'll start with the engines, right? We've got a couple of different engines, right? We know that we've got the uh, four-cylinder engine that makes 255 horsepower. Uh, we've got an engine that makes 362 horsepower. That's the six-cylinder. And then we've got the V8 engine that makes 483 horsepower that comes in the 580, right? So they just showed us a different couple shots of the engines down here. They're just letting us know. It doesn't matter which engine you go with. You're going to get the nine-speed, uh, nine G-tronic uh, automatic transmission, and it's got this dynamic select. Uh, I think that means it has paddle shifts. You also have multiple drive modes like sport, eco, and all of that. And when you change driving modes, it's going to vary the throttle field, how the transmission shifts, and how the suspension is set up. Stiff, more uh, soft, all that kind of stuff. Here's a beautiful shot of the 4Matic all-wheel drive system. This is your whole shot of the chassis and everything. We can see the suspension and all that. And uh, we know that all GLEs can be had with Formatic. All but the base model GLE comes standard with Formatic. Here they're talking about uh, the adaptive air suspension, which is standard on the GLE 580, but it's also available on the GLE 350 for Formatic and the GLE 450. So it's a adaptive self-leveling aromatic suspension. Okay, so we've gone through all the features. We've learned everything that we really need to know. So here we are in the configurator. We're going to now build and price out our 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE 580 Formatic SUV. What color do I want to go with? I'm not really sure. I'm not, well, I don't want to do that. I'm not really sure. Let's just, what is that, uh, that lunar blue metallic? That's a little bit dark. 
I did say that I like the selenite gray metallic, and so I think we'll just go with the selenite gray metallic. I do like that. It's not bad. Here they've got some wheel options, but I know how Mercedes works, and sometimes you're going to want to choose one of these packages first because that might change your wheel options here. So what do we got? They've got, uh, they've got that night package. It gives you gloss black accents and 20-inch wheels. I don't really want the 20-inch wheels. I like those 21-inch multi-spoke wheels. But you can get these 22-inch wheels with black accents. Let's see what these bad boys look like real quick. Now, to do that, you do have to select the night package. So let's go ahead and select the night package and then see. Well, you know what? I think maybe we'll just go with these 22-inch wheels. They look pretty awesome. Uh, let's just go with these 22s. All right, so we're sitting at $82,000 right now. We got the night package. Uh, I think this roof spoiler is really cool. Um, illuminated running boards. Do we really need running boards? I don't think we really... Well, maybe we do want the running boards. Let's go ahead and do the illuminated running boards. Uh, we got the load sill protector so you're not scratching up all your stuff. Uh, they got the black side cladding. I don't think we need any of that. We're not going to do the illuminated star because usually when you do the illuminated star, you can't have extra tech features because they put extra tech stuff behind that, behind the star. So we're not going to do the illuminated star, although I think it's cool. So let's move on to interior features now and see where we're at. All right. So here's the interior. Very nice. The black leather looks awesome. I like it just the way it is. I'm assuming, yeah, it's black. At this five, at the 580 level, you're not getting MB text. So you got the black leather, or you can get the. Uh, oh, they do have MB text. They do really. They do have uh, black Napa leather though. Let's try the Napa leather. And to do that, they must also add the AMG line interior. All right. Well, that's fine. I I, I like the sporty stuff. I like it. So the seats did change a little. The seats do look different. They look tighter. They got a different texture and look and design to them. Uh, I think that looks fantastic. So, okay, we've got uh, the black Napa leather. And what do we want to do for our veneer? Uh, they've got this gray linden wood, but I wanted something that was more like burl walnut. But this brown linden, let's see what this looks like. It looks like it's got a little red in it, though. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't want to spend all day on the interior trims. I wish they had, um, I wish they had like carbon fiber. They've got this metal weave, which is probably ugly, but, uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, maybe the metal weave's okay. Maybe the metal weave is okay. Uh, and besides that, I don't just really feel like messing with it because it's not that serious. I don't like any of the trims, to be honest with you, and that's why we're there. Third row seat package, I don't have a need for it. You might, so we're going to skip over that. Uh, heated steering wheel, definitely need that. Oh, you got to remove the uh, the uh, AMG line to do that? I don't think so. Forget it. Acoustic comfort package, no, no, no. How about options? Let's move to options. What do we got for options here? They've got, uh, let's see, soft closed doors. I like that. They've got uh, heads-up display. I'm all over that. Uh, MBUX augmented video for navigation. That's kind of cool. I think I want that. That's kind of fun. Power second row side window sunshades. Yes. Want all that to be power. Heated second row seats. Eh, I'm not really worried about that. But, you know, for the occasional time I might have somebody back there. Sure, why not? Multi-comfort front seats. No. Four zone climate control. No. They don't get four zone. They don't get to control the climate back there. Uh, the driving assist plus package gives you what? Uh, cross traffic, uh, evasive steering assist, active steering assist. Oh, there's four of 13 features. Lane keeping assist, blind spot assist. Oh, it's all the features you want, right? All this tech, all the safety tech you want for two grand. And then you got the exterior lighting package. Well, you know what? Might as well. I'm already in for 90 grand. I'm not stopping it for 900 bucks at this point. So yeah. Let's go all in. Let's move on to the summary then. Okay, so life for this SUV started at $78,900. We're now at $90,950. Here's a shot of the interior, which looks really, really nice. Oh, I'm sorry, a shot of the exterior. And here's a shot of the interior that looks very, very nice. This is a good-looking SUV. Love it with the 22-inch wheels. Love the AMG Sport aspect of it. Yeah, we're loaded. We're fully loaded. We're all in. We're basically $91,000 out the door. So, yeah, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE 580 4MATIC SUV helpful, informative, or entertaining, 
please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.